Last time we were able to get our view profile fragment built and our interface that is going to be responsible for navigating us from the profile to the view uh, view post fragment. So if I click on a post now it takes us to that fragment but it's not bringing in the correct data and also notice down here the bottom navigation isn't set up correctly. So th this, this, this is exactly why I wanted to pass the activity number because as you can see the bottom navigation view automatically resets when we uh, create it again. So it's technically selecting the wrong icon. So that's why we pass the activity number so we'll know which activity we're in and we can select the correct icon. So let's work on getting the photo information in here first and since we've uh, successfully created our interface and we send the photo using the bundle. So in our view post fragment, let's actually retrieve that bundle now. So let's create our log first of all. And we'll create our, our bundle uh, constructor here so that we don't have an empty bundle. It, it can potentially cause a null pointer if you don't do this basically. And just do super and set arguments to new bundle. Always need to do that whenever you're, oh, I mean, as far as I know, you always need to do that whenever you're passing information with the bundle anyway. And now we'll create a method down at the bottom here. I'm also just going to give us a little more room so we have some space. And let's close the project pane. And we're going to create a method here for actually retrieving that photo from the bundle. So we'll create a private photo, get photo, get photo from bundle. And it's going to take no arguments and just do log arguments equals get arguments and that'll print out the arguments that we're receiving from the bundle let me just go bundle bundle equals this dot get arguments and we can say if whoops if the bundle so if the bundle does not equal null then that's cool and we actually have something so we go bundle dot get parsable get parsable get string r dot string dot oh, what was it called in the activity it was photo just photo so get that photo we will return that and otherwise we're just going to return null and that's it so then we can go up into our on create view and we can actually retrieve that photo and because the bundle could potentially be null, we definitely want to catch a null pointer here. So let's go uh, try catch null pointer e log e and throw in that null pointer. Uh, by the way, feel free to like improve these these catches. Like I usually don't put a lot of information in here, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to be like uh, you know photo was null from bundle or whatever. Because then, then, of course, you'd have a lot more information about what's going on. Typically, I don't um, because I'm lazy. Also, because I'm going to end up looking at the log anyway, and then it's going to tell me exactly that. So uh, whatever you want to do. Okay, and we need to create a, a global um, photo. So let's go variables, private photo. Let's go m photo. And then here we can say photo equals get photo from bundle and that should retrieve our photo and then we can set the image using that photo so we can use our Im universal image loader and do set image and do m photo dot get photo path and we need to pass the widget so we don't have that yet and so I can just give it a name I guess let's go image null and that and then we can also set our activity number uh, where we can get our activity number. So let's actually create another variable. So private uh, integer m activity number. And we can go m activity number equals. Oh, I'll need another method for that actually now that I think about it. I have get photo from bundle, but I'm going to need get activity num from bundle. So we got a couple things we got to do here. Let's create this method right here because it's going to be quick. It's going to be very similar to this, so I'm just going to copy it. And I'm going to write some notes actually here too. I realize that I haven't been writing very many comments, and I think a lot of people would appreciate those, so I'll take the time to do it. Uh, so So this will be 
get activity number from bundle, change that. There's arguments, so it'll get all the arguments again, but instead we're gonna get integer, and the integer is gonna be the activity number. And of course you gotta change that to an integer. And it returns zero. So that should be good. It's gonna be very similar to this comment. Retrieve the activity number from the incoming bundle from interface. Yeah, okay. So now we just need to create our widgets. So let's go, um, I can't remember what I named a lot of them. So let's open up that layout file, which is gonna be, it'll be the layout, 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 one of these, view post, layout view post. And I can close that. And here's where all of our names are gonna be. So the image view is going to be right, this square image view, and that's just gonna be post image. So let's go and create that, those widgets, or create some of the widgets. For image view, uh, let's just go m post image, and then come down here. M post image equals square image view. View find view ID r to ID dot post image, and then we can take post image and put it here. And that should be good. So I'd actually like to test this before we do anything. Maybe set the bottom navigation first. So let's go into profile activity. I just want to go to the bottom and look for the method that sets the navigation. It must be in profile fragment actually. In profile fragment, and yeah, there it is. So set up bottom navigation view. Let's just copy that whole method there and go back into view post fragment. And I'm going to post it at the very bottom. And we're going to change a bunch of stuff here. So the context, whoops. Context is just going to be get activity. And we need to create our bottom navigation view and here's where we can now pass our activity number so uh, an activity number and so we just need to create our bottom navigation view widget so let's I'm just going to copy the name and I'm going up to the very top and under widgets I'll go private bottom navigation view bottom navigation view and we still got some red for some oh wait what oh because it's bottom navigation view ex bottom navigation view ex so that should go away and we need to of course attach it with its proper ID. So bottom navigation view equals bottom navigation view ex view ID r to id dot uh, bottom probably bottom bottom nav view bar. I'm guessing that's it. And that should be good. And we just need to make sure that we call this after we get the activity number. So we should probably go set up bottom navigation view in here because if for some reason the activity number is null and we throw a null pointer, and then we try to set up the bottom navigation view. Actually, you know what, we could, we could totally avoid that by just giving this a default value of zero, and then it doesn't matter. Then this can go here and go below the try catch, and it doesn't matter. So let's run it and take a look at what we got. Okay, let's head to the profile, and let's click a photo. And cool, there we go, we got the photo coming through, it's looking good. It, it looks good too, like it's not distorted. It looks like it's pretty good quality. Everything's coming through exactly how we want it to. And this, and also notice the bottom navigation is now set up and it's also got the correct one selected down there. I'm just gonna spend another minute here just really quick and create a couple more widgets. I, I, just because this video is probably, I think it's about nine minutes so far. So might as well spend just a little more time on this. Okay, so let's go create a bunch of text views because we got a whole bunch of those. So uh, one that's gonna be back label we're also going to have caption uh, we got username we got the timestamp and I think that's all I, that's all I can think of then we got a whole bunch of Im image views so we're gonna have the back arrow and the ellipses we have the uh, heart red we have the heart white and we have the profile image and let's see if we can attach these to some some ids really quick here so uh, back arrow is an easy one it should just be back arrow i'm pretty sure and what else we got the the back label that one's a text view I'm pretty sure it's literally back label. Yeah, perfect. And caption. Let's 
something to do with the caption. I think it's image caption. See, this is what I mean by you should name things similarly because then you don't have to really think about what you what you name them. You sh you are, if you name them the same stuff every time, then you already know. And so that one should be username and timestamp. See, this one I remember I named differently than usual. I think I named it like time posted or something. Time, yeah, image time posted. And let's see, we got the ellipses. And we got the heart. So red heart and the white heart's gonna be very similar. Heart white and I think it's just just like that, I'm pretty sure. Image heart, yeah. And then the profile image is the last one we're gonna do before I end the video. Image view, view find view ID, R to ID, oops, R to ID dot uh, profile photo. I'm guessing profile photo. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna stop the video here and in the next one, we're gonna work on getting the rest of the information so that we can populate all these widgets. So I'll see you in that next video.